What is up guys? So today I'll be teaching you how to make some homemade Rice Krispie treats. It's kind of hard, but I think you guys can do it. Just make sure you have parental slash party and supervision because we're using a stove. Okay, let's go! First you will need six cups of Rice Krispie cereal. Next you will need 10 ounces of mini marshmallows. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Half a teaspoon of salt. And a fourth cup of butter. Some items you will need are a pot. You also need something to stir with and a stove top. First you will need to turn on your stove to low heat to heat up the pan. You wanna take your fourth cup of butter and you wanna plop it into the pot to melt. Once your butter is almost completely melted, you want to take your bag of marshmallows and dump all the marshmallows into the pot. Throw your trash away. Make sure you are constantly stirring. Also make sure you melt the marshmallows on low heat. Make sure to keep on stirring. Also while your marshmallows are melting, grease a 9x9 or 8x8 pan. Once your marshmallow mixture is smooth, you want to want to add in your half teaspoon of vanilla extract and you want to stir it and make sure it fully combines and is incorporated into the marshmallow and butter mixture. Then you want to take your pot off the burner and turn it off the stove. After you take it off the heat, you want to add in all your rice crispy cereal and you want to make sure not to spill it because I definitely spilled it. And then you also want to add in your half teaspoon of sea salt. Incorporate all these ingredients until they are all fully combined. Once all of your ingredients are combined, you want to quickly pour it into your greased pan like so. This part gets a little messy. You want to grease your hands and then you want to gently press on the Rice Krispie mixture so it's flat on the top and nice and easy to wrap. It should look something like this after you finish pressing. Now you want to cover the whole thing with plastic wrap. It looks really weird in this, but you want to set a timer for one hour so that your treats can chill at room temperature. Make sure to clean up after yourself. Once the timer goes off, you want to take off the plastic wrap. Then you want to slice your Rice Krispie treats to however many pieces you want. I personally do 9 or 16 pieces. Here's what the finished product should look like. I then tasted them and they tasted really, really good. If you like Rice Krispie treats, then you should definitely try out this recipe. It is so good. I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye!